So there's a tipping point here that that we weren't at even a year ago. And Absolutely. We, we weren't at in the summer of 2015 when so much of this began after the Charleston massacre. Mm -hmm. Back then it was about taking the Confederate flag down and a few monuments were under duress. <laughs> now it's everything Confederate. Everybody. <laughs> it's everything Confederate. Oh, Grant. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, this is the, uh, you know, every moment, like the, every tipping point mm -hmm. has excess. Yeah. It, just, it is. It's going to have excesses. And, you know, and everybody's moaning right now. Well, how could you take down a Grant statue? You know, he was bequeathed one slave and he, so, and, he, and he freed that slave and so on and so on and so on. He saved the union. He was the general. OK, right. There are going to be excesses and we have to be able to stand up, you know, and say, you know what? Toppling that one. That's wrong. <laughs> that's wrong. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Topple that one. Yeah. OK, <laughs> I'm with you. You know, so if you're <laughs> going to make choices, it's, you, you so do make. And, and we've said before, you make choices every single day. We do right. that all the time. And the point is how it takes place, the kind of discussion that takes place about it. But you're going to you, some will stay and some will go. So that's just the way it how is. would you, you know, all three of us have have talked about this, about about mm -hmm. this. That, that there's not an inevitable sl slippery slope, that this no. is a ridiculous argument. So, and then how, since you, you've won prize, win you, you've written prize winning work about Jefferson, about the founders in general, this is what's constantly brought up by the people who say mm -hmm. this is inevitably gonna, all the, all the icons will be smashed. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the criteria that you can imagine using thinking about when you say no there's judgment here well the criteria there are lots of them but the, the one that i've always given uh is distinguishing the confederates from the founders is that the founders created the country and the confederates tried to destroy the country i think that's a pretty good bright line rule and when you lose a war you don't usually get to continue glorifying yourself by putting up statues in public places or, you know, sort of mocking the people who defeated you, you know, that the, the Confederates were vanquished. There's no reason for them to, to be there. They, the Confederacy was a branch. If we think of the country as a river, it was sort of a branch that went off to nowhere. There's nothing that they contribute to us that you couldn't get from some other place. And it's not what they stood for. Their, their values are not values that we stand for. Uh, Africa chattel slavery, the inferiority, they specifically repudiated Jefferson in the Declaration of Independence, Alexander yeah. Stevens did. So we can do without them. The founders are different because they founded the country. I mean, it's sort of hard for, to, for me to think of living in a place without telling the story or actually commemorating, not celebrating. I mean, you think of what a statue is about. It's not, I mean, to me, it's not about, oh, this was the greatest, this was a god. This is the greatest person who ever lived, whatever. It's about recognizing this person did something important. And I think found in the United States, I mean, there's some people who don't think that was a good idea, but if you think it was a good idea that these people did that and you see them, and the important thing is to see them in all of their complexity, to see them in all aspects. 